guys and welcome back to another match day vlog today, not so at home to Wickham and um, yeah I'm actually quite looking forward to today's game you know Louis Lang said after last Sunday's 2-2 draw with Peterborough that the Notts dressing room is a much happier place to be John Stead's in good spirits approaching the game so yeah I'm actually quite upbeat for once but we'll have to overcome our diabolical home form we've only won one at home this season so we'll have to deal with that but I'm looking forward to the match and I hope you enjoy the vlog as well. It's true, this weather's depressing, but anyway, the team news is in. John Stead, Lord Stead, returns. He's back in the starting lineup. He starts with Jonathan Ford from, um, I think it's um, a diamond in midfield with Adam Campbell playing the number 10 role with, with O'Connor, Milsom, and Tuttle. Hollis has been put in the sides, I think, to combat the physicality of Wickham, but yeah, Lang at right back now, I'm still not sure about that. But mm, I'm hopeful. Let's let, let's try and get something from this game because you know we had the lift against Peter Burn. Could be what we need to turn our season around. Michael O'Connor's been sent off. So it's half time, we're 1 0 down. Michael O'Connor got sent off, but I didn't see it. So, Yanis, would you explain? Well, both, both, both players went in. I don't know about two. I don't know if they both went in with the same kind of tackle. Yeah. Hit each other in the impact. And O'Connor got sent off in the wicket play. Yeah. But really, both of them should have been yeah. sent off, or none of them at all. Yeah, exactly. If it's 50 50, you've got to either send both of them off. Or don't send them, don't send either of them. No. It's, the ref, this ref, seriously, like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Another match. 
match day, another vlog, another defeat, another empty feeling when coming away from Meadow Lane and that is the cycle that goes on every Saturday when we have a home game. Just, i am had enough, it's really, it's getting ridiculous now, I've just seen the highlights of the game and just there's several points out of today's game that just what like you think how shit can football be sometimes okay well, I'm going to start with the um, referee Eddie, I think his name was Eddie Alderton was it um, definitely the worst ref I've seen at Meadow Lane ever and that's hard because I've seen, I've seen a lot of bad referees at Meadow Lane I'm not going to lie I've seen oh, quite a lot of shit referees but he was the worst uh, okay he was dreadful um, I saw the highlight of Michael O'Connor, I think it was pa was it Paris Cowan Hall who went in for the tackle with him but saw O'Connor sent off. One, O'Connor wins the ball and number two, um, Paris Cowan Hall goes in with his feet as well. So, But if Michael O'Connor gets sent off, surely their play has to go too. Okay. You either send them both off or you don't send them off. Because it's 50-50. O'Connor does win the ball, okay? I've seen the highlights. John Sheridan is right. Michael O'Connor wins the ball. And then the, their player walks off, okay, from the um, from the challenge. Um, he's fine. O'Connor comes off worse away, and O'Connor's the one who gets sent off. That it just do, it just makes no sense whatsoever. Um, on to the next part. No, not on to the next part, actually, because... Um, Akin Fenwell got sent off eventually after how many how many um, did it take him? Four handballs, five fouls and five elbows it took for Akin Fenwell to get sent off. Um, and it took O'Connor um one fifty fifty tackle of winning the ball and him coming off worst away to get sent off. And on to the next point which is knots itself. Like we we are We're heading to the National League. There's no doubt about it now. By the end of this year, we'll be in the relegation zone. And beyond, um, at the end of this season, we'll be relegated out of the Football League. And we can't really call ourselves the world's oldest Football League club anymore because we won't be in the Football League. Okay, this is... Th we started off alright, yeah. Okay, I'll give us that. We did start off um, quite well. But there's, there's no movement. There's no pace in the team. We've got no quality, there's no cohesion, we don't close the opposition down when they come into our half or when they're passing the ball around their, um, around their defence. There's no pressure at all. There's just a distinct lack of quality in the side. And Ray True, seriously, or whoever owns the club in January, it'll probably be Ray True still because the way we are trying to sell the club, we're just ballsing it up week on week on week and it's never going to be sold. Um, get your pockets if they're deep enough or if you have any money left get the, get some money and back John Sheridan so we can get new players in in January oh. it's, just, it's just the pain of supporting Knots it, you just get treated to absolute crap every single season oh, today's just been a shambles again like every week is just ruins your weekend your football team screwing you over. But anyways, if you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the game and your thoughts on the vlog. Um, stay subscribed if you're already subscribed. And please do subscribe if you're new. I'm trying to get to 100 subs by the end of the year. We're on 79 at the minute. Please get me to 100 subs by the end of the year. It really would be appreciated. Your support is already hugely appreciated. But keep going. Be safe. Be champions. And as always... To Lush.